Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we're gonna continue our look at painting Marathi from the Daughters of Cain army for Age of Sigmar. And as you can see, we have the model nearing completion now, and so now we're gonna work on the pillar and the uh, base uh, structures on her base as well. And for that, we're gonna do it in a marble. We're gonna go for a darker marble. For that, we're gonna use some Incubi Darkness as our base color here. And uh, very, uh, very carefully here, I'm gonna begin applying the base coat to the entirety of the pillar, everywhere I can reach with a brush. Uh, so I'll switch from this larger brush also to uh, more of a longer bristle brush, uh, just so I can get into some more of the nooks and crannies of these details here. But otherwise I'm using this large brush just simply to uh, get most of the surface. Uh, I do have to apply two coats because I did have it thinned out just with the dampness of the brush. Cabalite Green is next. Now here for the marbling, we're gonna thin this out just ever so slightly with the, just the dampness of the brush. And basically we're gonna begin drawing little lines across the surface, now kind of diagonally uh, to the surface. And so as you can see here, I'm just basically trying to very lightly just run the color across the entirety of the surfaces of the marble. You can see it looks a little bit thick in some areas, but I'm not too concerned about that as uh, later on we will be masking that a bit. It's gonna be quite subdued when we are done. And so you can see basically we're just going through and um, with these, I'm not too worried about, you know, creating like little like um, little lightning bolts or, you know, I'm just creating pretty bold little lines running across the surface at this point here. And I'm not too worried about keeping it too neat or anything, just as long as the little lines are fairly consistent and uh, running across the surface of the area because you're kind of imagining that this is one chipped out of, you know, one piece of marble. And so the lines would run into all the little nooks and crannies and details and what have yous. As you can see here, again, the lines are fairly subdued already once the color dries down. Gauze Blaster Green is next, and this is the uh, edge color. We're just going to slap this onto our palette, thin it out just a little bit with the dampness of our brush, and again, we're basically going to begin painting little lines. Uh, now, we're following basically what we had done with the Kabbalah Green, but this time we're also doing oh, it's kind of like little forks as well, almost like a little tree branch, you know, where we kind of just come to a little fork in the road and we go in a different direction kind of thing. And so basically, I'm following the Kabbalah Green, but then I'm doing some other little lines outside of that area as well. You can see that little section there, how we have like the one little part that branches off and just kind of goes off into its own little thing. And basically the same thing with other stuff. And I'm not too worried if I'm hit, if I'm covering up some of the Kabbalah green. I'm really just kind of, again, it's, it's just for color depth, uh, just for, you know, for the sake of the marble itself. But again, we're just going to go through. And really, you can take this step uh, as far as you want, uh, you know, creating these little veins and uh, lines across the surface. Next, we're going to go with some Baltan green. I almost said Palatine green. And basically we're gonna apply a fairly generous amount onto the surface. Now we're not looking for it to you know, get into the nooks and crannies so much as just provide an overall tint to the surface of the block. And of course we're trying to be very, very careful as we work our way around because again, this piece is attached to the other parts of the model and so we don't really want you know, to mess this up. Again, you can see here, I'm, I'm applying it you know, quite heavy handed but I'm also drawing excess uh, wherever it kind of puddles up. I'm going to draw it out and uh, use that material elsewhere on the surface. And so again, it's just uh, just tinting the overall surface of the model, not really getting, you know providing like a shade where it's going to get deeper in the recesses or anything like that. Dark Reaper is next, and this is going to be a dry brush. And basically, what we're going to do here is I'm going to concentrate mostly on uh, the uppermost portion of details where it's broken and such, as well as uh, the little corkscrew pattern that kind of runs down the main column. I'm going for the high points on that. So my dry brushing is an up and down motion. Uh, you can't really quite tell here, but it's an up and down motion along those corkscrew details. Here you can see I'm just doing a fairly broad dry brushing, concentrating uh, most of the uh, efforts along the edges of stuff basically just to bring out those details. And again, I'm uh, using this dark reaper because it's kind of this bluish gray, greenish, green, bluish gray. And again, I want to just, I want to knock a bit of that overall green feeling down. It was as after the shade wash, it just felt a little too green. Thunderhawk blue is next. And this is going to be our uh, final highlight color here. And again, a final dry brushing, concentrating mainly, mainly on the uh, broken portions of the model, as well as the, the high points and the leading edges on details and such. 
And again, as long as you're fairly careful and, uh, you know, you will get a nice little stone like appearance. And of course, dry brushing in this uh, phase also helps with that, uh, providing that bit of texture uh, on these base portions as opposed to the rest of the model where we've done a lot of glazing and smooth surfaces and such. Again, I'm just heading to just the high points of the uh, little corkscrew, corkscrew pattern on that uh, pillar. But other than that, that is done easy as that. Well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming.